Well, hey guys, welcome back for another Daily Devo. It feels like forever since I've had a chance to have one of these daily devotions with you in this, um, this setting here. But it's glad to have you guys back. Today we're going to be jumping into Jonah chapter 2. We're actually going to be looking at verse 1 because when I even just read the very first verse of this chapter, God's message that I wanted to share with you just jumped out at me. And so that's what we're going to talk about in just a moment. But let me read, go ahead and read verse 1 for you. Again, we are in Jonah chapter 2, looking at verse 1. It says this, Then Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God, from the belly of the fish. <laughs> okay, whenever I read this, this one little line just stood out to me that I had to share to you. And it's really the core of of my message to you. It's this, your SOS will be heard. You, if you don't know what an SOS means, it's to save our ship. It's that distress call that a boat will throw out when things are just going crazy. That is our line of emergency saying we need help. But it's so disappointing and that we can actually be so easily distracted and think that for some reason, that God can't hear our SOS. We can get to the point where we feel like our SOS isn't heard because the enemy is very present in our lives. I know I'm going fast here with this idea. It's because of this. The enemy wants so much for you to begin believing that your SOS can't be heard. That because of your standing, because of what you've done, because of the direction you've gone, because of how far you've gone away, that when you begin to cry out to God, that the waters that are over your head are actually so deep that it's blotting out the cries of salvation and rescue that you are pleading to God for. But my encouragement to you is the same one that we're reading here, and the encouragement that Jonah is beginning to find in his story. In the middle of his worst situation ever, while he's in the belly of the fish, he cries out to God, and God hears him. So my message to you today, my encouragement that I'm going to give to you today, is no matter how far you've gone, no matter how deep you feel like you've gotten, no matter how much water you think is over your head, don't be deceived into thinking that God can't hear you or won't listen to your cries for help and rescue. Because if you are truly crying out to God from your dark place saying, I want you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Please step into my story and help me, Jesus. Rescue me. That's exactly what God is seeking after. That's exactly what God is looking for. And when you are truly crying out to him in those dark times for help, know this, he hears you and he wants to help you. Don't be deceived into thinking that your past is going to blot out your present cries for help. God is hearing you. God wants to help you. But here's the thing. If you are purposely walking away from the direction that God is wanting you to go, that's where we see stuff like being swallowed up by a fish in the story of Jonah. He purposely walked away from God and God allowed that sort of situation to happen in his story. But even after all that, Jonah cried out to God, and God heard him, and God rescued him. So that's my message to you, and that's really going to be my prayer for you as well. If you are truly in that spot where you're needing some encouragement and you're needing some rescue, recognize this. Your spot right now isn't too dark. You're not too far gone. If you truly cry out to God with a legitimate just heart, of repentance and wanting a change and saying, God, I need you. Recognize he's going to be here for you. So let me pray for you and we'll kind of close out our devotion today. Father, I want to thank you for this chance to be able to share this message here with the viewers. I just pray that your love will be evident inside their lives and no matter where they're at in their story with you, recognize, help them to recognize that no matter when they call out to you, you hear them. And so we love you, Lord, and we thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. Hey, guys, as always, know that Jesus loves you, and thanks for watching. See you.